prevailing wage not always mandated, increase public role in governance, and to increase standards of ethics, conflict, campaign finance, and incompatibility in office. District of elections, the task force uh, unanimously recommended that they, we not go to district elections. The task force feels that there's always has been diversity among the council and the El Central small population would limit the pool of candidates and districts uh, were implemented at this time. So that recommendation will go to the council so that that be reviewed in five years as the city grows and we, we look at the thing. I, I said this at council very often and I know my council members would agree with me. This has been a very diverse council over the years in, in all forms, whether it be by race, by age, by economics, by education, by whatnot. It, it's something that I think is important to look at, but I don't think it was something that, that, that has caused a great concern at this point. Uh, even year elections, yes, the task force unanimously recommend that the city council consider moving city council election years from odd to even. Uh, the task force feels that moving to even years is positive because of the larger voter turnout. This, I think, probably in, in, in going to the meetings uh, and participating regularly was, was really probably the easiest item for us to discuss. It, 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 the only drawback was the, the slight increase in cost, and it, it's going to end up costing about 15000 annually. You only do election every two years. So um, it, we didn't, the, the task force didn't believe that the slight increase of cost didn't uh, outweigh the huge benefit of having double the turnout at council elections. And, and I want to assure you, because somebody called me today and asked me about this question, uh, it had nothing to do directly with this election. And, and I know because, obviously, this is a unique election where there was huge voter turnout. This was studying all the elections over the last five, six, seven, eight cycles. Uh, we didn't even use the, the high turnout number of this. We used what was really what was the average of elections in even number of years uh, with, with the, the uh, averages for the odd number of years. Uh, selection of the mayor. The task force agreed to forward this issue to the city council without recommendations uh, in, into the three roles of the mayor, or three oppor different opportunities for the mayor. Uh, we did discuss this in great detail. Uh, there was a slight uh, number of the council that it was in favor of going to an elected mayor uh, of the committee. But uh, I suggested and I thought it would be appropriate that because there weren't uh, unanimity on the committee, and it was pretty divided, it would be best to send this to the council for its discussion uh, without a recommendation and let the council determine uh, which direction to go. Um, I should go back to this even year election things and give a little point of reference. If the council was to determine that this was the way to go, this is an action that the council can take itself, does not require a vote of the people. And it will require the council, one of the things that we, we did not discuss as a committee, uh, and myself and, and Councilmember uh, Silva recommended that we forward it to the council with a recommendation to switch. But there is an issue that will have to take place, and we thought it best discussed at the council. If we decide to go to even number election, uh, even number, even year elections, it will require the council to determine whether at some point, to either extend the election year, the, the, the council terms for one year, or to shorten the terms for one year. And that will have to happen just once, but it will have to happen in two cycles, meaning that, um, as an example, we have a 2009 election coming up for two council members. If the council determined to extend the terms one year, those terms would go until 2010, and the election the, the three council members that were up in 2011 would be extended to 2012. If we decided to shorten them in one year, then what would happen is the people in 2009 would run, the people in 2000, as, as planned, as, as according, people in 2011 would in fact run in 2010. And the people who ran in 2009 were elected would be running for a three-year term because their term would then be up in 2012. Okay. So we either going to end up with council terms for all five council seats, either one time, either a three-year term or a five-year term. And it, that's the determination that if the council decided that it wanted to move forward with this particular idea, it would have to make that determination. And this is something that the city attorney advises would be a council decision uh, and 
the proper resolutions would be passed and it would go forward without a vote of the people. Okay. I told you it wouldn't take very long. Okay. Any general comments? Central change the structure of governance from general law to a charter city. Um, 